Hello friends, welcome back to this channel. In this video, I am going to give you week 3 assignment solutions for programming in Java course. So friends, please watch the video till the end because if I make any changes in between the video, you can be uh, able to note that only when you watch the video full. So please uh, don't skip the video. And let's go to the first question. Which of the following statement is or are correct about constructor? So there are three answers for this. The first one is option A. Constructors cannot be synchronized in Java. And second one is option B. Java does not provide a default copy constructor. And the other one is option D. This or super can be used in a constructor. So the options are A, B and D. <coughs> And moving on to the second one, friends if you have any doubt please ask me in the comment section uh, so that uh, you can be able to clarify your doubt. Second one, which of the following statement is or are true? So again here there are three solutions. The first one is option A and next one is option B and the other one is option C. So mark A, B and C. And moving on to the third one. Consider the following piece of code. So I have done this on my compiler. When I did this, uh, actually the, the question they have asked is uh, the fill in the blank so that the co program compiles successfully. So when I did this on my compiler, I got two options for this. The first one is option B final and the other one is option D public. So the answers could be B and D. Moving on to the fourth one. How many instances of abstract class can be created? So the answer is option A 0. We cannot create instances of object class. That is option A. Moving on to the fifth one. Structuring a Java class such that only methods within the class can access its instance variables is referred to as. So the answer for fifth question is option D. Encapsulation. It means hiding the details. So mark option D. And moving on to the sixth question. Which of the following statements is or are true? So for sixth question there are three, uh, three options. The first one is option A. A final method cannot be overridden in a subclass. And second one is option B. And the other one is option C. A, B and C are the answers. So mark A, B and C. And moving on to the seventh one. So consider the following code on the output of the above pro program they are asking. So the answer for 7th question is option B. There will be a compile time error. So mark option B. <coughs> and moving on to the 8th one. Consider the following program. And they are asking the output of the above program. The, an the answer for this is option B ring. We got ring as output. So mark option B as correct answer for 8th question. Moving on to the ninth one. Which of the following statements is or are false? So the false statement is option C. The term class variable is another name for non-static field. Actually it should be static field. But they give non-static. So it is wrong. The answer is option C. So mark option C as correct answer for 9th question. Moving on to the final question of this assessment. That is 10th one. Which of the following statements is or are true? So here all the options are correct. That means option A, option B, C and also D. Every option is correct. So mark A, B, C and D as correct answers for 10th question. 
so friends these are the solutions for week 3 assignment of uh, quiz assessment of java programming in java course so hope this video is helpful for you if you feel the same please subscribe our channel like this video and share to your friends so oh, if you have any doubts please ask me in the comment section i will try to reply for this valid queries uh, until then it's goodbye thank you